Thomas, don't. He'll kill you. I loved you and you lied to me. Both of you. You betrayed me. What do you want from me, Ray? I want justice. Oh my god. I wanted so desperately to lead my lost brothers towards the light of the Lord. But I failed us all. And now my brothers are mortal enemies. Why? For what? A woman? Gold? Yesterday, we were a family. It was late August in 1864, and the murderous Yankee General William Tecumseh Sherman was marching through Georgia burning everything in his path. Those were bitter days for my brothers and I. My father was dead, killed at Antietam. My mother and I were all alone, doing our best to run what was left of the family farm. Two years previously, I had left the seminary, giving up my religious studies to do my familial duty. Now, everything we held dear was about to burn. And our last hope was the Confederate forces defending the Chattahoochee River. Among those forces were my brothers, Thomas and Ray. Sir? Sir! Lieutenant Fox needs you on the flank. Yankees are taking the forest. Donovan! Get your men! Sir! We spotted them in the trees! Oh, shit. They got past our men at the river. Does Barnsby know? I don't know, sir. Sapper, sir. They blew up the fortifications. Damn. Go, McCall. You got some hell waiting for you. Is this everyone? I got three men and straight fortifications. Fox has eight. here for another wave, but those who got through, those are yours, Sergeant. Sir, we have to tell headquarters. The enemy could have crossed the river, and my brother was there. 
You think this war's about your brother, McCall? Clear out those Yanks and secure that area, Sergeant. I'll expect a report. Brian, go to headquarters and tell them we're holding the flank and to counterattack the bridge. Sir? Oh! Damn it! Take cover! Sniper! Ah. Show yourselves, you cowardly sons of bitches! I don't have time for this! Hang on, brother. I'll be there. Just, just hold on. Oh, shit. Screw it. I'm not leaving my brother to die. Punching through the left flank. We need to counterattack now. What are you thinking, McCall? Did you forget how to salute? O'Donnell. Sir, I'm asking for permission to lead the attack. Denied. Their cannons are holding the field. I'll head through the forest. Look, I know that your brother's defending the river, McCall, and I don't want you doing anything stupid. We're pulling back, making a tactical retreat. Return to your unit. Let him go, Captain. Sir. If you can reach the trenches, McCall, I'll hit him with everything I have. Sir, yes sir. Corporal Scott will go with you, McCall. Sir, get your men, Corporal. Follow me. We're going for the trenches, sir. We gotta attack. Are you crazy? How are we gonna get past their defenses? They're tearing us to pieces. Well, if we can't go through them, let's go around them. I'm not running my men into a meat grinder. Smith, show McCall the end of their line. He wants to get himself killed, that's his prerogative. This way, sir. There'll be two left to call. This is it, sir! That's all we got! Okay, now hold your charge until you see an opportunity.
Brian! Get over here! God protects you, McCall. He must have something in mind for you. Maybe he wants us to get these goddamn trenches back. Damn right. Let's go, soldiers! Time to show these blue bellies the business end of our bayonets! Anybody in there? Come on in, find out for yourself, you Yankee piece of shit. Thomas! Thomas! You're late. What? I rigged the bridge, but I can't blow it up, because them some bitches took our cannons and controlled the field. Once the main attack wave comes, we're done for. are getting too damn close. We can't wait any longer, Ray. I'm blowing up the bridge. Corporal! Wait. I'll go. But first, I'll silence these cannons. Hurry up. I'm almost out of ammo. Scott, follow me.
the cannons, quick! Goddamn bridge up! those goddamn reinforcements. <coughs> Is that O'Donnell? That son of a bitch is all by himself. That bastard Barnsby didn't send any goddamn men. Sergeant? I have new orders from Colonel Barnsby. He's calling for a general retreat. But we're holding the line. Why would he want us to back off now? We're moving to Jonesboro to reinforce our supply lines. If the Yankees cut us off there, Atlanta is lost. 
That's 50 miles away. You will obey orders, Sergeant. Or you will suffer the consequences. Easy, O'Donnell. Our family's homestead is in harm's way, and I'll be damned before I let Sherman's army burn it to the ground. You have your orders. If you choose to disregard them, you will be charged as deserters. Are you threatening me? It ain't a threat, McCall. It's a promise. You tell Colonel Barnsby that we're taking leave to defend our family's homestead. And that we held the line. Right, now get the hell out of here before I take your firearm and shove it where the sun don't shine.